Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking more packs for patrons, so we're getting stuck into a brand new box of Core Set 2020. Also cracking a couple of packs of Ravnica Allegiance and War of the Sparks. So let's get stuck into it. So this is for a new patron who's at the Jackalope Behemoth tier. So that is eight packs. So we're going to go digging in here, grab four packs. So one... Two, three, and four. There we go. And to do the pack blessings, we have Chandra here. So let's lay out the packs. And that's a lot of packs. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is how we do the pack blessings to get the crazy pull. So how am I going to organize this? We'll go like that. Ha, ha, ha. And like so. Okay, and the lucky patron today is Mathieu Archambault. Archambault? Apologies for the pronunciation. So, he is a new patron, as you can see, gets his signed Jackalope Herd card. So, good luck, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Let's get stuck into it and see what Chandra's blessings will bring us today. And instantly the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, as well as Planeswalker cards. So well, let's get started here. We have a Fortress Crab Goblin Bird Grabber Creature Goblin 2 1 for 2. Love the Goblins. Gift of Paradise Stone Golem Leafkin Druid Frost Lynx Dagger Sail Aeronaut Creature Goblin. So we've got another one, a flying one. Unholy Indenture, great artwork on that one, Marauder's Axe, and Uncommon Scholar of the Ages, Flame Sweep, Sky Knight Vanguard, and the rare is Leyline of Combustion, Enchantment for four. If it's in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield, and whenever you and or at least one permanent you control becomes a target of a spell and a, or ability and opponent controls, Ley line of combustion deals two damage to that player. All right, so off to a great start with a ley line and a foil dragon mage. Very nice. Pop that over there and a forest and a treasure token. Okay. Next pack, we've got a Soren here. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we're going to get hosed. We shall see momentarily. Okay, we have an Angelic Gift, Metropolis Sprite, Kelden Raider, Aerial Assault, Blood Burglar, Greenwood Sentinel, Maniacal Rage, Boneclad Necromancer, Dawning Angel, Rabid Bite, and Uncommon's Thrashing Brontodon, Meteor Golem, Devout Decree, and the rare is a Graph Digger's Cage. Artifact for one. Creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Okay. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. So if you've got somebody who's doing a lot of stuff with the graveyard there, that will hose them rather nicely. And a Bloodfell Cave and a Soldier Token. Okay, next we have War of the Spark. So we're going to get at least one Planeswalker. Preferably a mythic. So let's see what we get. Teo's Light Shield, No Escape, Turret Ogre, Ironclad Crovard, Primordial Worm, Lazatep Behemoth, Nahiri's Stone Blades, Band Together, Prismite, Herald of the Dread Horde, and Uncommon's Vizier of the Scorpion, Pledge of Unity. Got a Watley the Sun's Heart is the Planeswalker, and the rare is a Blast Zone. Not bad. Uh, enters the battlefield with a Charge Counter on it. Tap, add Colors Mana for 2x. Tap, put X Charge Counters on Blast Zone, and for 3 and tap, sack it. Destroy each non land permanent with a command mana cost equal to the number of Charge Counters on Blast Zone. So, very cool land there, and an island. And a zombie army. All right. Now switching gears back to Ravnica Allegiance. And what is your favorite set out of the three in this video? Are you really getting into Core Set 2020 or you have a soft spot for War of the Spark? Leave a note in the comments. 
Okay, next we have Rubble Slinger, Arrestor Zeal, Shimmer of Possibility, Noxious Grudian, with Death Touch, Silver and Brush Strider, Burn Bright, Senate Courier, Azorius Knight Arbiter, Gruel Locket, Frenzied Aranx, and Uncommons, Borat Clan Crusher, Terramander, there's a nice pull, Salamander Drake, let's set him aside. Night of the Last Breath, and the rare is Theatre of Horrors, enchantment for three in the Rakdos colours. Beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent lost life this turn, you may play cards exiled with Theatre of Horrors. For three in a red, it deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Not bad. And an Azorius Guildgate and a zombie token. Okay, so we'll separate that up. Over there, War of the Spark again, second time's the charm, and of course, pack opening skills are sadly lacking today. Okay, next we have Martyr for the Cause, Naga Eternal, Courage in Crisis, Soren's Thirst, Bloom Hulk, Charm Stray, Avon Eternal, Burning Prophet, Oh, but Nixilis's cruelty. Jaya's greeting. Hello, Jaya. How are you today? Uncommon's Bond of Discipline. Nissa's Triumph. We get a Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage with the very cool artwork bleeding into the border of the card there. And the rare is Casualties of War. So this is a Sorcery 4-6. Choose one or more, destroy a target artifact creature in enchantment land or planeswalker or more of the above and an island and a zombie army. Alright, so we'll put our zombie army over there. Ravnica Allegiance again. So, so far I think the blast zone is the highlight out of this slot. Maybe the Terramander. Okay, next we have Savage Smash Twilight Panther. Persistent Petitioners, are they still a thing? I'm going to put them aside for you anyway. Scorchmark and... Oh, I thought there might have been goblins there, but it's hard to tell. Mammoth Spider, Consigned to the Pit. Watchful Giant, Burning Tree Vandal, Justicia's Portal, Get the Point. Uncommons, Zertar Goblin, Creature Goblin Berserker. Fantastic. Okay, moving right along. Angelic Exaltation. Wall of Lost Thoughts. And the rare is a split card. Repudiate and Replicate. So Repudiate is an instant for two. Counter target activated or triggered ability. And Replicate Sorcery for three credit token. That's a copy of target creature you control. Alright. And a Rakdos Guildgate and a Sphinx token. What is your favorite guild? Surely it is the Rakdos Guild, the weirdest, creepiest, most menacing guild. Okay, Corset 2020, let's go, and I think we're off to a great start already. If I can get the pack open, because I see something hilarious. It is a reckless airstrike with a crazy goblin. Is there such a thing as a non-crazy goblin? I'm curious about that. Inspiring Captain Moat Piranhas. Watch out for those guys. Wolf Can Bond. Feather and Fleet Cutthroat. Glaring Aegis. Boreal Elemental. Maniacal Rage. Centaur Corsa. Lightning Stormkin. First of the Uncommons. Warden of Evos Isle. Moldivine Reclamation. And the rare is brought back. Instant for two. Choose up to two target permanent cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped. All right. And a foil mountain. Pop that over here with the other foils. And a planes. And an elemental token. And yes, you will get the elemental token because I think it's cool. Okay. Final pack here. Soren, we need your help. Chandra has not been terribly cooperative, I know, it's a little greedy, we got the blast zone, but we need more crazy pulls. Okay, finally, wrapping it up, Fortress Crab, Scorch Spitter, Inspired Charge, 
Sanitarium Skeleton. Brightwood Tracker, Silverback Shaman, Battalion Foot Soldier, Winged Words, Unholy Indenture, and Griffin Sentinel. And then we move on to the Uncommons, Loaming Shaman, Rapacious Dragon, Dragon Mage, non-foil this time, and rare is Bishop of Wings. Creature Human Cleric, 1-4 for 2. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 4 life. And whenever an angel you control dies, credit one on white spirit creature token with flying. All right. And a mountain and a soldier token. So that wraps it up here for Matthew. Or Matthew, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry about that. All right. And if you too would like to become a patron, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, we've got the Patron Snap Packs coming up. We're going to build a bunch of those Snap Packs for the Patrons. Hopefully get them some nice pulls. Thanks for watching and have a great day.